Are you a fan of fresh squeezed orange juice? Maybe the Hurricane Juicer can help out. Now that we've juiced our orange, we can add it to the cup and now it's ready to drink. Now that's good orange juice. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And this time we're looking at the Hurricane Juicer. You know what? Enough talk. Let's get right into this review. Here is our Hurricane Juicer. We purchased this for right around $40 at our local Walmart. Let's open it up to see what we get. Unbox is a whole lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. The whole unit itself is only nine and a half inches tall. That's little. As you can see, we come with our directions, a charging cable. I didn't realize this was battery operated only. And then of course, there's some feedback if you wanna provide that to the company. This whole thing actually comes apart. We can disassemble just by twisting it. It might need a pretty decent twist though. There it goes, and we can pop this whole thing off. On the back here is where we're gonna find our charger port, so let's go plug in our USB-C cable and charge this up while we look at the rest of the unit. The directions tell us that this light around the power button will be red while it's charging and completely white when it's finished charging. While that's charging, we're gonna continue taking these pieces apart. I'm actually gonna go wash all of these parts right here in the dishwasher, get them all dried up and ready to go for our first use. Two things I wanna point out. One, there's this max line. That's the most amount of juice you can have and leave it in this canister. But I also appreciate how this base is slanted all the way over here to the release where you're gonna let your delicious juice flow out. I appreciate that the spout here has a pretty good looking gasket. I am worried that that could be a potential leak point, but we'll see when we're all ready to go. Let's go throw the stuff in the dishwasher and get this review started. The Hurricane Juicer is marketed for an on the go item. So I want you to know that when you're charging it, it actually doesn't work. You cannot turn this on at all. You can only turn it on when it's unplugged and the charging has finished. So it's really only battery operated. You can see that we are fully charged. We're also somewhat assembled. We don't have the top on, but we're going to make some orange juice. I really appreciate how the juice cone actually has a spot you can jam the orange into just like that. So that is really convenient. Let's put this in, throw in our orange and see how much juice we make. As per the directions, there is a right way and a wrong way to install this. You see how I just lined up these two arrows? That would be the correct way. Therefore, your button is in the front and your spout is on the left side. However, I looked around and it did not look like there's anything special about this way. So I will try it off centered from time to time just to see if it will work, something like this. I might try it like this too because I only think they tell you to line up the arrows so that you know it's tightened in but sometimes people may forget. Of course, we're gonna try it out the correct way when we first start out. Here's just a quick tip. I found out that some of my navel oranges are just gigantic and they barely fit. So I actually see, does this fit inside this top? And if it does, then I slice it in half and use it. Some of them, and I will try them, are gigantic and you'll see what happens later. All right, here's our first one. We're poking in our orange right there. We're gonna fit the top on. See how it fit nice and snug there and now, Let's hit the button to turn it on. Right now that it's on, you see that we're set in a place. Let's hit the button again. And that lets the system start to juice. It does sound like the motor is struggling, but we see lots and lots of juice coming. And I really think that's awesome. You can see that our juice level is below the max line, I also see some floating pulp in there. I don't mind pulp, but let's see how much we got just from juicing a half of a navel orange. Well, that's impressive. Just about four ounces in a half of an orange. This is gonna be exciting. Of course, we wanna see what our orange looks like. So let's pop that out. Wow, can you look at that? It's pretty much cleaned out. Let's do the other half, and then it looks as though we're gonna have to clean out our machine. As you can see, it actually turned off during that time we were looking at our orange. We have to turn it back on again. Remember, it resets. And then we are going to now juice the other half of our orange. Now that we've added the contents of our other half in there, this may be where some of you want to end. It looks as though we got a rate around six ounces of orange juice out of our one orange. Now you just have to clean it up. For me, we're gonna continue on. I'm gonna clean this out, but I think the weirdest part so far I've seen is how do I get the juicing cone out? I'm just grabbing it by the point here, but you know what? There should be a handle or something because that was kind of difficult. 
Also look at the nastiness that's in there. This is after only just one orange. So in my opinion, you do want to clean this out after each orange or grapefruit or lemon or lime or whatever you're doing because it's not going to juice it very well. And all this pulp will wind up in your juice. I took the time to just do a basic clean and really all that meant was I dumped out all of that pulp. You can see that I also set up this system so the arrows are not lined up. The only inconvenience I see so far is the buttons under here. Let's get it turned on. And let's see if we can juice it with the arrows not lined up. As you can see, nothing different happened other than the arrows were just not lined up. So if you do forget, it'll be okay. I'm gonna shake it a little. I don't know if you can see, there is a lot of pulp in there. Let's drain this into our measuring cup to see how much juice we got. All right, hurricane juicer. Let's see you run through again. I think for the most part, the second time I got a few more drops of juice, but a whole lot more pulp. I'm just now finishing my 10th orange that I've juiced, and I honestly didn't expect the machine to run this long. I don't have any more oranges. So what I'm gonna do when this one is finished, ooh, I just heard a pop, I wonder what happened there. I think the top moved a little. So when I'm finished with this one, I'm actually gonna go clean out the machine and try another citrus fruit. I will say that is a delicious glass of orange juice. If you are not a fan of pulp, this does have pulp in it. So I just use a strainer to strain out all of the excess pulp, but man, that is really good. It's time to make some grapefruit juice. And the funny thing is these grapefruits are actually smaller than the oranges. So I'm hoping this does a whole lot better. The lid goes on. Oh yeah, absolutely. Turn it on. Start the process. Now to spin the second half. I really like how the grapefruit actually fits into the top here and it sort of holds it in place and really squeezes out all that delicious juice. All right, let's drain that out. I know it tells us to clean this out after each use, but I'm gonna keep doing some grapefruits. You know what though, every time I see this, I think how cool that really does get every last little bit out. Let's get another grapefruit in there. Realistically, if I'm out in the go and that's what I'm using this, do I really have time or want to clean it out between each piece of fruit that I juice or can I just keep juicing? Oops, let's close that lid. Or can I just keep juicing? You might find that the pulp in here builds up, so you might want to clean that out. Because you can see actually, actually that makes me answer my question. All that pulp that was in there has now squeezed out into the juice. It's a good thing I have a strainer. As I dump that out, I did see a whole lot of clumps coming out of there. So my recommendation after each fruit, if you don't want the clumps in there, you need to clean it out. So tell me, what are your thoughts of the hurricane juicer. It's a battery powered portable juicer. Something you're looking into? Not so much. Is there something else you'd recommend? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I know this is mainly meant for citrus, but I want to see if you can do an apple. All right, so I have a Granny Smith cut in half. I don't know if I'll be able to get that lid on. Let's see. Oh yeah, it came on. And since I have everything washed, the button's actually on the other side now. Let's see if it gives us an apple juice here. Wow, I was not expecting it even to work. Look at that. Well, foamy juice start to roll. Let's see what that apple looked like. Wow, it completely took all of the apple out of there. Try the other half of the apple to see how much juice we get out of one apple. Now for the moment of truth, let's see how much apple juice we actually produced more than I thought it was going to be. Let's see when that settles down, we'll close the lid up. Just about three ounces, what it looks like is right below the four ounce line. Not bad. I just tried a little bit of it and it sort of tastes like a liquid Granny Smith. Not something I probably would drink all the time. The directions tell us we could also use this for berries and such, and they say strawberries. I wouldn't recommend it for strawberries. I've tried this a couple times and only really made a mess. Check this out. It will make some juice, but a lot of the berries actually get stuck between the juicer and the lid, and that's kind of frustrating. I'm actually gonna run that a second time. In my opinion, I'd rather eat those strawberries than try to drink the juice. I thought, you know what? How fun would this be to start our very own lemonade stand? Let's juice some lemons. This will be interesting because the lemon is by far the smallest of the citrus fruit that we have done so far. So let's turn it on and let's hit juice. Well, as you can see, there's not near as much juice coming out of that lemon. What is that, like a teaspoon? Let's take a look to see what this lemon looks like. 
Wait a minute. Let's get a closer look on that. That looks like it still might have juice in it. I'm gonna squeeze it. You know what, along with some seeds, but some additional juice came in uh, right out of there. I wonder if that's because the lemons are not as big as the grapefruit or the oranges. So what I'm gonna do this time, instead of cutting the lemon in half, I'm just gonna cut off the end of the lemon so it's a lot taller. Let's see if that will help. Definitely harder to put the lid on. After wrestling with it, let's, oh, it turned off. Let's turn it back on. Now let's see what happens. Well, I don't know if that really helped. We definitely have juice in there, but not near as much juice as I would have liked to have had. We just took that out and that actually has so much juice left in it. I can squeeze this out. So based on my test here, the Hurricane Juicer does a great job on oranges, does a great job on grapefruits, not so much on lemons. Well, I've run into a problem. I've used eight grapefruits, 10 oranges, two lemons, some strawberries and an apple, and I've run out of fruit. This is still the original charge on the Hurricane Juicer. So in my opinion, that battery is pretty impressive. In this video, we are looking at the Hurricane Juicer. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point. It ranged in right around $40, which in my opinion is actually pretty decent for this product. Don't get me wrong, I've used much better juicers, but for $40, a battery operated portable juicer, the Hurricane Juicer did a great job. As I was using this, I was thinking who would actually use this? Because this wouldn't be your home juicer because there are much better products out there that keep things a whole lot cleaner. But I think, man, if you're a camper or van life or RVing it or just going out traveling and you love making fresh juice every day, this product is for you. It's lightweight, compact, and portable, and I love that it runs on a battery. Plus, you saw how great that battery was. We were able to juice over 20 different citrus fruits, plus an apple, plus some strawberries, and it kept going. From time to time, it did sound like that motor was getting weak, but it provided really great juice. I will say I was a little frustrated with how frequent I had to clean it. After every single orange, I had to clean it out. Otherwise, my juice was completely full of pulp, and I just didn't like that. Plus, the frequent cleaning made the machine get all sticky, and it was just a mess and I thought man this is frustrating but if you're only doing one or two oranges or some grapefruits and then you're going to wash it up and put it away it did a pretty good job that was my full review of the hurricane juicer if this is something that interests you I will leave a link down in the description this is Jeff with Jeff reviews for you as always thanks for stopping by and I hope you had a great day our lid is somewhat dome shaped so hopefully this all fits together oh wait I got to push this down it is not going together by itself so right off the bat, the fruit I've chosen is too big for the machine. Let's see if we can put some elbow grease into this. All right, we, there we go. Now let's see if we can spin it. Wow, that was tough. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Hurricane Juicer. You know what, not that long ago, I actually reviewed something called the Bottle Blender. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you right here. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.